everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Kirby Superstar. Uh, very quickly, just going to show off the file select screen. Uh, now that we've actually made progress within the game, our percentage counter has actually gone up. We're now at 17% through the game. And as you can see, above the percentage, you have uh, six stars. Well, star one and star three are filled out. That stands for, uh, I believe, star one's uh, Spring Breeze and star three is uh, Gourmet Race. So there are only really seven things you have to do within the game. Uh, hold on, let me get in the screen first. Okay, here we are. Um, so yeah, you have these four games, these two games that are next to it that we can't play yet. And then there's also another game we'll get after beating those two. Uh, you don't have to do anything with Megaton Punch or Samurai Kirby in order to complete the entire game. But I'll get more into that later. Uh, in this video, I'm actually going to start playing Dynablade. Uh, this game is also pretty short. It's not as short as Spring Breeze, but I still predict like maybe only two videos for this game, so let's go ahead and start. No, we don't need to explain that, but they're going to do it anyway, so stay tuned if you actually need to watch that, but I'm not going to show it. Uh, let's get started. As you can see, Dino Blade takes place on a map of five levels. I think the last level is actually just the boss, so really only four levels so let's get started now in uh, some games like uh, this game uh, Great Cave Offensive and uh, I believe uh, Milky Way Wishes uh, there are some things you have to do during the game in order to actually get the full percentage that the game is worth uh, for example in Dynablade um, you have to unlock two secret uh, copy ability museums in order to get 100% in the entire game. So I'm, I'm, I am going to do that. Uh, they're both not really that hard to find, so it's not like I'm going to go through like a lot of trouble to find them or anything. But still, I will let you know how to get them and how to, you know, use them, I guess. Okay, I'm using Cutter Ability now. We actually could have used this ability in uh, Spring Breeze, but I chose not to. Cutter is honestly not my favorite power-up. It's probably not even close, but there are a few cool moves like that one you can do. And as you can see, that move is actually kind of like his uh, Super Smash Bros. Uh, B-Up move, where he kind of goes in the air, the final cutter, or whatever it's called. It can be very helpful. And how do I get that bomb? I forget. You probably have to use a certain ability to get that, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just keep on going with the game. Let's see, there are a few other moves you can do with the cutter. You can do a downward strike like that. Um, let's see. What else can we do? Let's go ahead and look at the menu. Uh, dash and Y. That's fine. Cutter drop attack. I did that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty simple. Not very much you have to really say about Cutter, I guess. And yeah, with Cutter, you can actually, you know, keep firing it over and over again. Now let's go ahead and go in here. I don't think there's anything in here, but just a little Maxim Tomato. Oh, you can also get the Sword ability. I'll go ahead and get that again. Uh, this is actually the Sleep ability right here. But uh, when you swallow the enemy, you'll fall asleep and then quickly lose the ability. It's actually no use whatsoever. There's really no point in having the sleep ability. It would be nice if you could recover health, but that could also be kind of cheap as well. It really depends on where you're using it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I'll go up here, because up here we have a uh, super candy, along with these stupid flowers. Watch out for those flowers. They can actually do some major damage if you're not careful. Okay, let's go ahead and... Go over here. Don't think there's really anything over here, though. I think this is actually where the level ends, so... Yeah, this is where the level ends. I'm gonna go ahead and get Crash again. Um, come on, hurry up. How do I get rid of powers? Oh, right, A. Okay, I haven't created my partner yet, so that's fun. Now, let's go up here so I can get Crash. Yes, I am gonna cheaply use Crash again, but for a good purpose, I assure you. Uh, here is another copy power-up. This is the only mini-boss in which you can get this ability. And it's Kirby's Final Smash from Brawl, the cook ability. Cook, cook Kirby. And what you do with that is, when you use it, all the enemies and enemy projectiles on screen will go into your pot, and they create health items for you. So it's a very cool ability, though. 
you don't really get to use it very much. And when you see a sparkly door like this, that means you're at the end of the level. I know I missed some things in that level, but it's nothing of importance. It's just a lot of power-ups and stuff like that. And boy, did I suck at that. That was terrible. That was really bad. Oh well, I'll just go on. Basically, that's just a mini-game where you can win extra lives if you uh, hit your meter at its uh, farthest point. Okay, and I actually got the parasol now. Parasol is a pretty standard uh, melee weapon, I guess you could say. Go ahead and look at the menu. Um, parasol shield, if you hold Y, dash for a parasol drill. Y in the air is a parasol dive. So yeah, there are some cool abilities, but... In my, own, in my own opinion, the hammer is the best melee weapon, just in my opinion. Because there is a very cool ability you can do with that. And I'll go ahead and go in here. This is just like a mini boss room. Or, well, not really a mini boss, but... These little enemies. Uh, Mennonites guys, I guess you can call them. Like Mace Guy, uh, Blade Knight. Or no, Mace Knight, Blade Knight. All those other knights you face. So there are some cool abilities here. Um, have a little drill attack like this. Uh, I'll go ahead and go over here. I don't think there's really anything over here, though. I'll actually be getting rid of Parasol in a moment, because there is a um, block we have to get. Oh, Ninja Power. I'll go ahead and get that. Ninja's pretty cool. Okay, how much... Okay, so I'm still good for time. Ninja, you have like a knife throw, a quado shock attack, dash attack, in the air, a ninja kick, and the air drop. So there's some cool abilities with the ninja as well. Ninja's honestly not my favorite power-up though, just to be honest with you guys, but I don't know, it's it's unique, I guess. Get a one-up, even though I know I won't need that one-up. I probably won't die until either Great Cave Offensive or Midnight's Revenge. Uh, in my project, I died a lot in Great Cave Offensive, my first project, but I don't think that'll happen in this project, because I've gotten a little better since then, and when I was playing back then, I wasn't actually aiming for perfection or anything. Cool little ninja grab we have right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Ninja, and I'll give it to my helper, because I need Mirror for this next part. Mirror, another little, I guess, projectile power-up. Cool dash attack. But we want to get mirror so we can open this, go inside this door, and here is the first of the two big switches we have to hit in this game. Uh, we'll find the second one in the fourth world, so we don't have to worry about that just yet, but there it is. And hopefully I can finish this level within the time limit. I'm actually running out of time now, and if I'm going to have an intro, i got to go even faster just to get that in. I'll just keep wheel for the time being. Okay, here's an annoying little room where you have to uh, auto-scrolling. I should also mention that Kirby has a slide attack you can use if uh, you don't have any power-ups. It's very useful for sections like these that auto-scroll and like you don't have enough time to actually... Um, what am I trying to say? Enough time to actually swallow the blocks away. Okay, we have some health in this room, good. And once again, I'm powerless. Okay, let's slide under here, get the star, and hurry out of this collapsing castle. Oh, wait, I guess it isn't a collapsing, we just went into another room. Weird. Okay, wheel. Here's another power-up. Wheel really only has one use, and it's to do stuff like this, where you can actually roll for an infinite amount of, amount of time. Get some power-ups down here if you're quick enough. Watch out for the spikes, though. Yeah, I know I lost my power-up, but you can get another one right over here. One thing I like about the wheel, um, Kirby Sprite, is that's actually the sprite I use for my normal icon. Not the Santa icon I'm wearing right now, but my normal icon is, um, you know, the red Kirby hat, and that's actually what Kirby's wearing in this one. So that's where my original icon came from. Okay, I'm going to give you wheel, because I want to use hammer. I love hammer. Hammer is definitely the best um, melee weapon, in my opinion. Uh, mainly for one use, which I'll show later. It's a very quick boss killer, if you know how to use it. 
Uh, very quickly, let's just go down here. Uh, over here is just the exit, and if you go in here, you'll find the exit anyways. You just get three one-ups if you come over here. And... That'll about do it for this episode of Let's Play Kirby Superstar. Thankfully, I actually got full power this time, so I can show you that when you get full power, you get three one-ups, so thank God for that. This is Slim Kirby. I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Kirby Superstar when we continue the rest of Dynablade. See you guys next time. Later, folks.